hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video thank you so much my returning subscribers god bless you all and i beg of you guys please if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe and be part of this family thank you and god bless you all so guys i'm taking you back to our one and only country nigeria let's see what is going on there today we are going to be watching church hill and his new wife someone is dying of guilty conscience because she married her best friend's husband hey guys i hope you guys are doing great and i hope you're having an absolutely beautiful day um i just wanted to address something real quick i mean on a normal day i wouldn't come out to say anything but there are one or two very important facts that i need to share with you guys Firstly, I was never, ever a personal assistant to Mr. Churchill. I mean, he did have a personal assistant, but her name was never Rosalind Mura. Secondly, I, Rosalind Mura, have never, ever been friends with any of Mr. Churchill's exes, not to talk of being best friends with any of them. I have never met any of his exes, except one, which was, I mean, merely an acquaintance. Mr. Churchill introduced my siblings and I to her as his family and aside that day we have no personal relationship, no connection. That was the only day that we were in the same space together. So moving on, I did say that Mr. Churchill was like a brother to me, but he's not my blood. My mother didn't give birth to him. Mr. Churchill and I, we don't share the same father. That statement, he is like a brother to me, simply meant he is family. Mr. Churchill has always been there for my family and I, and it has always been that way. I mean, was I ever attracted to him or have I ever looked at him in any other way? No. Was he ever attracted to me? Who knows? But I mean, that's not something I have control over. I was in a relationship. I was happy. A relationship that went sour due to the banter online when... Um, some accusations were made. I mean, did I kill myself? No. I moved on. Life goes on. Mr. Churchill's failed marriage has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with me. The same way you guys read and heard online that I was the reason for his broken marriage was the same way I read and heard online that I was the reason for his broken marriage. Before then, I mean, I never knew that the relationship I had with him before he got married was a problem after he got married. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> No one confronted me. I was never aware of any of such. Whatever it is that happened in his marriage, I had no knowledge of at all. The same way you guys read online what happened was how I read online what happened. I mean, I knew him. Why would I wait for him to get married and then start playing hide and seek? It doesn't make sense. After Mr. Churchill got married, things were still the same. He was still there for my family and I. He would take my siblings and I out. I would invite friends, male, female. He never had a problem with it. We would have so much fun. And I mean, when it was time to work, we would work. I'm not a lazy youth. I have goals. I have aims. I have an ambition. I have things that I want to achieve in life. Mr. Churchill made that possible for me. He exposed me to a lot of opportunities and I am forever grateful. So when it came to work, it was always work. You would see us places, and that's because throughout me going around with him, his foundation and other stuff, I was learning the process. It had nothing to do with intimacy. It had nothing to do with me following him because I liked him. Mm -mm. I did like him, but like I said, like a brother, family. After his marriage crisis and after he got divorced, I mean, I was still there. I never left. I mean, why would accusations and um, people talking make me leave? Leave to where? I never left. I never abandoned him. Obviously, he was a different person. Not much fun. <laughs> Not the normal fun, bubbly Mr. Churchill that we used to play with and we used to know. Um, you would see that he was just off, devastated, broken. I don't know, frustrated. Um, his mind was never there. Obviously, you could tell that he had stuff on his mind, but I mean, it was what it was. Gradually, days passed, months passed, years passed. Life took its course. 
destiny happened. So, um, what I was accused of became my reality and my fate. I mean, what would be would be. You cannot change it. You cannot force it. I am not God. I mean, it just happened. I let God's will take place in my life. I never forced myself on him. I mean, it just happened that he became more than a brother. He became a lifetime partner. And um, I just really needed you guys to hear this. Every malam with his keto, one man's curse is another man's blessing. Life happens. I know you guys have opinions which you're um, definitely entitled to, but I just want you guys to know that your opinions, they don't change me. They don't take anything away from me. They don't change God's will in my life. They don't take away my glory. I'm always going to be me. So you guys just remain positive. Your own blessings and happiness will definitely locate you guys. I love you guys regardless. Stay blessed and have a beautiful day.